Okay, uh, now we consider the computation of double integrals. Uh, the double integral uh, fxy, the double integral fxy over the domain d, dA, sometimes we write as d, fxy d, y dx. How to compute the double integral? Uh, first, uh, we give the uh, provide the result of how to compute the double integral. The double integral is d uh, uh, is uh, oh, um, the method of compute the double integral. It uh, depends on the d. Uh, first, if the domain D like, like this, the domain D is uh, that the projection um, of the surface onto the x y plane. If the domain D is like this, that g two x y equals g two x and y equals this so y equals g one x and x is bounded by the line a, b. If the domain is like this, then the double integral uh, f x y d a equals uh, a x x from a to b, that y is from uh, g one x to G2x. We first uh, integration the y, fx, y, dy, then dx. Uh, that is like this. Sometimes uh, in, in later in, in later course, we we will not use the bracket here anymore. Uh, this means that we first integrate uh, integrate integrate f x of y uh, in terms of y. When we integrate in integration uh, f x y in terms of y, then we we regard x as uh, as constant, just like the partial derivative. That's the first. That's the fir uh, uh, first case. Uh, we will prove the, uh, the uh, this formula later. And if the domain is like this, y from c to d, uh, and this domain can be write as x y x greater than a less than b y is greater than g one x less than g two x if for this one this is h two y x equals h h h two y and this uh, curve is x equals h one y and y is uh, between C and D. So the second domain that is x, y, uh, that is x greater or equal to h1, y, less or equal to h2, y. Uh, y be uh, greater than C, less than D. Then the double integral f x y d a equals uh, for we uh, integrate integrate h first that a h one y to h two y and then f x y d x first and y is from c to d then integration y. That's the uh, uh, we we call 
we call this maybe uh, x type x type domain this is y type domain there are some more complicated uh, there's some more complicated domain that if uh, there's one there's another one and uh, here that's different uh, different that that uh, uh, the different uh, maybe uh, the uh, curve are piecewise curve let's C that's a that's B here is uh, G1 X G2 X that's H1 X H2 X then we should uh, divide the D e, uh, into two domain that's D1 is X Y that's that is X greater than A less than C and uh, y is greater than g g1 x less than g2 x and the d2 equals x y that is x greater than c less than d and y greater than h1 x and less than h2 x and the double integral f x y d a should write as two parts write as two parts then equals uh, from a to c as uh, from G one X to G two X, that is F X Y. First we integration Y, and then D X plus that's C to B. H one X H two X F X Y D Y. First the integration D Y, then D X. Yeah, that's D1, that's D2. That's how to compute the uh, the double integration, uh, double in, uh, integral. Now we prove for the, uh, just prove for the first case, X, X type domain. Uh, the integration by the definition of the, the uh, double integration we know that the integration is can be viewed as the volume of uh, the volume of the surface z equals fx over a domain Uh, is y equals maybe y equals uh, that's that's uh, g one x that's g two x that's a that's b the y is uh, Okay, the y is bounded by g1 x uh, and g2 x. That is the the uh, y is greater or equal to g1 x less uh, less or equal to g2 x. And we uh, use the volume. We, we compute the volume of this one of this region. 
uh, for any x, for any x. Uh, now we fix for x, then the here is a uh, and this is plain and uh, this uh, uh, is is a plane uh, the part of plane then we can compute uh, the we compute uh, first we can compute this plane the, the area of this plane take area of this plane what is the area of this plane for well, x is given for well, x is given so uh, x is uh, given so the uh, this this curve the the area of this plane that is the integration from the from the definition of the uh, single value calculus the uh, the area of this plane is f x y d y we know that that's the area uh, the area uh, under a curve that is the integration of this curve and the lower limit the lower limit for y because because the, the lower uh, because y is bounded by g1 x and it and G2x. Uh, so the lower limit is G1x for fixed x. The upper limit is G2x. And now the we can uh, use the same the, the same trick to find the find the uh, volume. So the delta v we can view that delta v we use a thin slice thin slide for the for this region the the x should should change it to delta x so the delta v i that is uh, a i x times delta i delta x i and v is almost this is almost sigma a i x times delta x i then we take the limit when that's i from 1 to n when uh, we take the limit as a limit delta x i tends to 0 or n tends to infinity then the summation that's a i x delta x i we know that the limit the limit and the summation is the integration so x is from a to b then a x dx and with then we insert insert the formula for ax into the into the uh, into the expression for v so v equals first we have uh, from a to b ax dx that is a to b then the g1x to g2x the ax is integration from g1x to g2x that is fx y dy then dx that's it uh, that's how to uh, compute the double integral now let's look for some examples we only prove for, for the case one Example one uh, compute 
the double integral x y d a where d is uh, enclosed by lines uh, y equals 1 y equals Oh, x equals uh, y equals x and uh, x equals 2. The solution for any double integral, the uh, first step is uh, draw the graph of the domain. And it's better to use use the other colors for the coordinates. For coordinates, then y equals one. Y equals one. Y equals x, and x uh, y equals one. Y equals x, and x equals two. So the only part enclosed is this part be careful it's be careful not this part or this part because these two line these two line are uh, the coordinate axis x and y axis so it's better to use different color to draw the uh, co coordinate line coordinate axis. So this part is our, dom uh, our domain, the area. Okay, so uh, first we need to find the G1x or, and the G2x. The y is bounded by, by uh, the lower limit for y is this line. So the domain, first we write the domain. Uh, if we want to integrate y first, we need to find y, the upper limit and lower limit for y. The lower limit is y equals one, and the upper limit is y equals x. And x is, uh, that is the intersection. Uh, y equals 1 and y equals x, we got that is x equals 1. This is the lower limit for x and y equals 1 and uh, y equals x and x equals 2. That is, is the x, the lower limit for x is 1, the upper limit is 2. We can write as this. So first, we find the uh, find the domain and in, interpret uh, interpret the domain as a set. After we got the uh, domain, then we use the use the, the, the method to find the uh, the in the case of one, it, it, because y is down, uh, y is between two curves, so we use the, that's the x the, the domain is x type x y d y x is from one to two and d x uh, for the for the computation we compute this first and. Uh, uh, deal with x as constant, so that's one two. Uh, the the antiderivative for y that is one half y squared. Y is from one to x, then dx. Uh, we use the fundamental theorem to find y. So that is one half x 
times x squared minus one half x times one. Then dx one to two. That is one half x cube minus one half x and dx. Here we only here we only insert the uh, value for y and then take the antiderivative that is uh, 1 over 8x of 4 minus uh, 1 over 4x squared that's from 1 to 2 the uh, insert 2 that is 1 over 8 uh, times 16 minus 1 over 4 times 4 minus 1 over 8 times 1 minus 1 over 4 so that is a 2 minus 1 that is a 1 uh, that is 1 fourth plus uh, 1 8 that is 9 over 8 That's the uh, first uh, first uh, example. Uh, actually, for this example, we can use both. Uh, we can use this uh, area as as x as as y type. If we uh, that means we integrate uh, integrate x first, so the x first. If we want in, in, uh, integration x first, then we find that x for x we we uh, find the oh, uh, the lower limit or upper limit. The x is bounded by x equals 2 and uh, x equals y so this is the this is upper limit because x part uh, the positive direction for x is 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 this way so upper limit is x equals 2 and the lower limit is x equals y and y that's 1 that's 2 y is uh, greater than 1 less than 2 so the double integral if we want you uh, if we want integration x first that is x first that x is from y to 2 x of y dx then dy y is from 1 to 2 1 to 2 x <coughs> antiderivative for x that is one half x squared times y then the lower limit and upper limit one two two uh, insert the value for upper limit and the lower limit that is four minus y squared then times y or we can write as uh, one half times four times y minus one half y cube dy that's two y two y that's y square uh, minus one half Four, uh, one, eight, 1 over 8 y 4 that's from 1 to 2 that's a 2 that's y yes so insert uh, y equals 2 that is a 4 minus 
1 over 8 times 16 minus 1 minus uh, 1 eighth. Uh, this is uh, 4 uh, 2. So that is 2. Uh, 2 minus 1 plus 1 8 that is line over 8 that uh, this this region can used you can can be used both in x type or y type